Do I gotta run? Fuck. Oh. Really? Salutations YouTube, Glitch66 here, back with another gameplay. Today we are going to be continuing the medium. And I'm not sure how far I am, but I think we might be ending it in this one. And if not in this one, then definitely the next one. Okay guys, so here's the thing. Um, started recording it. Played through about two hours tried to edit it down as much as I could and the outcome was a gameplay that was about an hour and a half long so what I decided to do was split the gameplay in half so this first half is going to have the first half of the gameplay. The second half is going to have the second half of the gameplay. The first half of the gameplay is going to have an intro, but not an outro. The second half is going to have an outro, but not an intro. Also, I know that I just said that I was going to be playing through to the end. Apparently I'm nowhere near the end. So that did not happen. Though this gameplay did turn out to be very awesome. And I did go silent a lot in the gameplay, but that was because I was very, very drawn into it. So there's not so much of dialogue coming from me, but there's a lot of content from the game. I do hope you guys enjoy it, and if you do, remember to leave a like, um, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I'm trying to get back into doing a lot more gameplays now. I'm, I'm doing the medium. I want to finish this game. So I'm going to keep playing this until I actually end it. After that, I may go back to Song of Horror and try to finish that as well. So look forward to both of that, both of those games. And yeah, that's it. Just gonna continue on with the gameplay. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy. So we're gonna jump right into it. Um. Right. I know one went this way. Shoot. Um. Oh, right now I'm supposed to be tailing these AstraZeneca butterfly things. Um, I totally don't know how the sound is on this. So, I hope it's good. No! What are you? Stop! Okay, all right. Is that it? Is it this? No, of course that wouldn't be that easy. Oh, nope, that's where I came from. Is there a well anywhere nearby? No names, no face. 
faces. No way to help them. All right. All right, the butterflies clearly went this way. Oh, maybe I was supposed to go see that first and then come get the face. This is it. This is where he died. All right, that's one face. Okay, I still know his name. If oh. only I could see the other side of this place. All right, please don't put Mothman near here. Some sort of a conference room. Yep. Don't know how you could tell that just by looking at it, but that sign probably said conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say. If you're early, you're on time. Mm -hmm. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. Um, are you sure? I had a bad feeling about this. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? Okay. Barbara Wild Wildmaker. Wild Wildemer. Wow, there's not even a K in that. Um Bar Barika Wildmaker Wildemer. Wildemer. Crossed out absent. Uh Okay. Looks like Anthony and Valdemir are absent and everyone else is present. Is it this one then? No, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Nope, it's this. believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Huh. Sounds like him. So, where did Boris sit? Because he sat across from Boris. Alright. Boris sat at 9. So, who sat across from 9? That's 7. That's 5. That's 9. And that's 4. So, 4 is my guy. Four is 
Nicholas Aqua Aqua Aqua. Well, at least now I know who it is. I can put Nicholas's face where it belongs. Okay. I think your face goes here. Time for you to get some rest. You've earned it, Nicholas. So I didn't have to go through all that? Thank you, madam. You were just going to find it out on your own. Okay. One down, one to go. Better get to it. Nothing here. At least, not in this world. Can I go back on the other side? Do I want to go back on the other side? There we go. Oh. Nope. Examination room. Okay. Are you telling me to go? New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Okay, so apparently I listened to that before. So we're looking in the examination room. Unless they were just examining furniture. Okay. I do see the mirror. I just didn't want to go to it. But it looks like I have to go to it, so. Am I about to start patty kicking back and forth through this world? Another one. Uh, definitely don't want to do that. I also realized I haven't found one of those wells yet, so... Mothman comes anywhere near me, I'm probably going to be screwed. Because I don't think I have enough magic on this arm. Also, apparently he can jump back and forth through worlds. And it didn't have to zoom in on me like that. like they're making this out to be a lot more simple than it's not gonna be oh and a checkpoint that can't be good like I see him I see him. It's like a glove. He 
He's just walking in a circle. Let me try you on. Let me eat you up. I'm pretty sure it will hurt. Dude. Dude, you're... Can you stop walking in a circle? Can you go somewhere? you find somewhere else to go? Like... Where do you go? I don't know where he went. Oh, now I see. At least it gave me another checkpoint. Did he see me? Please tell me he didn't. Like, I can partially see him. Alright. It's a lot more simple than I thought it was I'm going to be. Close. That woman was here. She was a ballerina? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Okay. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Alright, I think that's what it is. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No, the artist formerly known as Vivienne. <laughs> that name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah, this wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? All right. This is where it happened. Uh, of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Uh, no! Uh, well, I didn't even hear that. All of it, but okay. And still no name. There's gotta be something. 
something. I think it's in her diary. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. So, there's another page that I have to find. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? Oh, well, there's the piece of paper. Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Hello? Oh. Hey, are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Okay. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Huh. Okay. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Rose on. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347? I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Let's try this one. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Mm. Ellie... She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So, if you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori, it's you. The real you. That's your name. Tori. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Okay. Is it this way? I think it is. All right. Yep. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. Yeah, me too. Anywhere is better than here. Will you just let me pick you up already? Oh wait, I should be able to pass through that, right? No. I don't think that's how that works. We go through here.
All right. A quiet girl. Part of me does not want to read this, but okay. Mr. Rekovitz is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I am a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, on her, but I have my hands full as it is, even putting aside all my other duties. There's poor Mr. Tarkowitsky, Tarkowski, Tarkowski, to take care of. Still, I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly. Likes taking, likes talking to our imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone at her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations, and I swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. <clears throat> All right, something somewhere. I hear it. Unless it's in the other room. This place. This is where it started. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Huh. Where it tasted death. And liked it. Alright. Empty eyes. Poor, poor Mr. Tarkowski. Whatever happened to you? The test came back. No signs of many brain trauma nor quarter dementia. And still, I look into your sad, empty eyes. And I have this awful feeling like there's no one looking back. Don't worry, my love. I'll take care of you. No matter what, I'll make sure you're as happy as can be. 450 milligrams of then left vaccine. That'll cheer you up, right? Are we sure it wasn't Tarkowski? Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Nope. Are you in there? Even a speck of you left? I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. Or was it the nurse? See, now I have no idea. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? Why indeed. <laughs> the achievement is cut the crap. Yes. Fucking finally. Thanks. Time to get back to the day room. Okay. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Why are you so weird? Or a movie star. Like, in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Our... Spy name it is. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way or the other way, so I'm starting with this way. Oh, guess it was this way. So what was back the other way then? Maybe the key for that door. It's weird, I've been through a lot of this place already and I have not encountered Thomas at all.
Unless Thomas is the Mothman. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. Yeah, me too. Could could you not? Um All right. Here we go. Okay. So that happened. Back to split screen we go. Marianne? <gasps> there you are. Thank God. You're all right. I was so worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. From helplessness. From rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. No. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. the split screen again. I'm not sure how much more I can handle. I can get through. Richard? Are you there? Did I put something together?
There we go. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. Oh, we close okay, friends, it's you know. him. I mean, not that close, but... All right, I'll take care of him. The nurse. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Huh. Okay. A well of inspiration. Thomas. I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind could be. The way he described them. With every minute minute detail. It was as if he had actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him to peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me. As his visions came alive on my canvas, some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste, that would be an unforgivable sin. Oh, he was one of the kids. Okay. I just keep throwing out random thoughts. Uh, locked. Of course. Another one. Method to madness. Wait, I actually wanted to read that. Okay. It became a habit of ours. We sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he closed his eyes and start talking, describing all the new, th all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor. Of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately ultimately became a bottom as well of inspiration. My own my hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To, to help, they seemed to be a burden. A source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. well gather round children 
I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends. Huh. Lilian. Throwing away greatness. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than an artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on one condition that it would be on, that would be his chosen field and so he started on his way to become an architect at first I was rather skeptical thinking that he was throwing away greatness for American competence but deep inside I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his business to life and then he met her our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help dealing with his inner demons. Interesting. Anything else? Looks like I'm missing one more page. Nope. Alright. that way now? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's where that goes. least favorite things to do. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Or at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Lily Her voice. Did you just now catch on?
Good thing I saw that. Alright, another one. A very special boy. I remember the first time I met him. Working a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in a Warsaw uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear that he had no one else in, his wor in this world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I immediately, I could immediately tell he was special. go back there but let's do this first so that's how you found him? yes he was just lying there he, uh... mr. Reckon I'm sorry he was a friend I just uh, need a moment that's not true Thomas you thought he deserved it. Well, that's horrible. Oh, and another one. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I was no I no longer had all of him to myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking both in her beauty and intellect eventually I accepted the fact that he was that he found has found true happiness true love strong and pure well as pure as it can be I guess in any case I was no longer needed when the project came along the one that had eventually been known as Niwa, I pulled my, I pulled all my strength to get him what he wanted, even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted the best for him. He was the one of my he was the closest friend, the closest to a son I'd ever had. Richard, you were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work, the university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant. That's loud. Oh, it's this one. Oh, 
Try to remember the button. Try to remember the button. Now I remember the button. Okay. done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. All right, following the butterflies again. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, yeah, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Alright, following them again. And there's the ribbon. No! I didn't mean to... Oh, God! What have I done? It feels... cold. What have you done? Okay. Um. I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> All right, Professor X. 